welcome back, guys. So, as you know, in the last video, we discussed how to set up Caddy and um, Duck DNS and Jellyfin. So, this time, I'm going to help you set up Caddy, uh, Cloudflare, and your domain to register to Jellyfin or any other, other app you may want to use. So, first off, let's go into um, our Cloudflare first. And we first need to set up our domain. So, if you've purchased a domain from any registrar, all you have to do is click on Add Site. Yours won't show these, but sign up, then click Add Site. I'm going to add a domain that I've already cleared off of here, devilsdesigns.net. Click Add Site. Okay. And just this is just paid. Don't worry, it's free. Go down to the free. Click OK. Select this one right here. Click Continue. Now it's going to find our DNS record. So it found that... Um, these are the DNS records. We need to add a couple of domain names. So let's just, um, these are the ones currently identified with this. So we're just going to set this to don't need an MX record. We don't need a www. We'll need to set uh, an A name for www. So we're going to click, uh, we're going to delete all these because these are old. Don't need any of these. If you have these, that's fine. We're just going to make our own. I'm just deleting them for my capabilities. You don't really need to do this. These are just because they're old references from old websites I've run. And I don't really need them anymore. Okay. So once you're on here, you want to go and type in your A name for your website. So it's W, you know, you can do Devil's Design Net or an at sign. Either one works. And you want to put in your external IP. You can find this by going to the link in the description called IP Chicken. It'll give you a direct location or link. I'm going to put mine in real quick while I pause it. I put mine in. I, I'm going to block this out and you know hide it, but just don't share this with anyone because that could be a direct DOS attack. This is essentially using Cloudflare. What it's going to do is it's going to allow you to spoof your IP address. So I know that has access to your domain cannot find your direct IP address. That's how we're running this reverse proxy. So once you've done that and we have the app, we just click Save. Okay. Then we're going to go into Continues now that we add that A record. And it's going to give us these two names for our Cloudflare name service. We click on copy one. We go back to our um, domain. You want to go to your domain you want to edit. So mine is going to be this one. I'm, oh, wait, let me go back. Sorry. Jump in the big, jump in the ball. We go into domain settings. Once it loads. We're going to go into manage DNS. Basically, anywhere where it shows your DNS editing, that's what you want to edit. And we're going to edit our DNS records to uh, change our name servers. It might be different for everyone. I don't know what you're using, but we're going to change our name servers. So entry my own name servers. And we're going to add our Cloudflare accounts, which are these two. They might be different. These will definitely be different from yours, but just so you know, they're in here. So I have this one, Sonia and Thomas. Click Save. Okay. Now, usually it says wait 24 hours. It'll be instant. Usually it's less than a couple minutes. So just for your information, it usually won't take more than a couple minutes for it to obtain it. Which mine were already there, so it's saved successfully. I already had the same domains. Click on Done. Check my servers. Get started. We want the automatic HTTPS redirect, meaning that we won't have unsecured domains. Um, always use HTTPS. Yes, we want that because, we, again, we don't want HTTP because it's unsecure. You can click on save this. You can basically just go through the middle of these. You don't really need to worry about any of these. Let's just keep the default. Okay. Now that's done. We can go into DNS and it pulled our DNS. Now we're going to click add a record. Click C name. And this is going to be our subdomain. So if you want to put a subdomain in, all we have to do at this point is go into name and we're going to type um, at. We're going to type in our subdomain. So let's say I want to do like um, uh, movies dot for Jellyfin, okay? And then at. So it's going to be movies.devilsdesigns.net. And this will, will, will be what Jellyfin or whatever web app we want to load is. Click at. Click save. You always want to disable the DNS only. Sorry about that. My mic happened to die. <laughs> um, you want to go into DNS, and we're going to set it to DNS only. Because if you don't, Essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to think that it's a reverse proxy and it's going to try to cap you on your data. So if you do it this way, since Caddy's handling all our forwarding, we don't really need this enabled. Okay. Once that's done, we can now go. We're going to go into our Caddy file that I'll supply in the description. Again, it's in my other video, but I'll add it anyways. 
Um, you can see my other video for information about that. I recommend having a good tax editor. I like using Sublime, but it's really up to you. So the only thing that's going to change from the DuckDNS is we're going to do Cloudflare. Okay. We're going to add our API key, which we'll grab in a second. And this is just going to stay the same. And instead of this being DuckDNS.org, we're going to add our domain. So let's say it's dev, uh, movies designs.net okay and this is going to stay the same reverse proxy the only thing that's going to change is our cloudflare key and i'll show you to get that right now so if you go into cloudflare uh, and you go to the overview of our website we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says get your api token okay click create a token and we're going to create a custom token okay uh we can name it whatever we want i'm just going to name it caddy we're going to go down, we're going to do zone, and then zone again, okay, and we're going to make this read, add a second section, which is going to be zone, and then DNS, and this one's going to be edit or write. So we have zone, zone, read, and zone, DNS, edit, okay? Once that's done, we're going to go into um, zone resources, this can all stay the same. This is just going to include all zones in this domain. That's all that means. We're going to click on continue. Create a token. Your token's going to be up here. Copy it. Put it in your Cloudflare. I'm obviously going to change mine. You can roll these too, and I'll show you to do that in a sec. If you forget your token, you can always roll it. Which, to do that, all you have to do is go, if you're ever at your home screen again, you go into um, what is it? Uh, websites, doubles designs or whatever website is your default. You want to get your API token. And all you do is right click under Caddy, I think it's this one, and click roll. And it'll roll you a new one, and you can just copy and paste that one in to replace it. So once that's done, now we're going to go into here. We're going to go into NSSM, run. Oh, wait, no. Yes, NSSM, uh, start Caddy. Oh, i got to run into the manager. Hold on. And if you don't, like I said, I, I went over all this in the last video. If you need any tips, I can help you set up. You can look at that video to um, to run your Caddy install and set it up and just pull the stuff from here for that. Mm -hmm. one exactly what I was talking about. I had one miscalculation on my Caddy. Instead of playing Cloudflare with 1A, I had 2, and it wouldn't start. So now if I start it, if we go into here and we load up, um, devilsdesigns.net. Oh, I forgot. It's movies.devilsdesigns.net. There you go. You just successfully reverse proxied your domain into a domain like this. So, if you guys have any questions or concerns, anything you want to see me do in the future, let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, supply that information and do that for you. If you guys uh, have any comments, questions, or concerns you want to bring to my attention, I'd love to answer them. Thank you so much, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed my video.